Greetings and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you so much for giving us this opportunity to come your way and minister to you through God's word. This week we are talking about discipline and how godly discipline empowers and enables each one of us to be fruitful in our lives. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 11 and 12. My son, do not despise the Lord's discipline. because the lord disciplines those he loves as a father the son he delights in discipline is training and that training involves both positive and negative aspects part of discipline is simply guiding someone to follow certain rules or to observe certain behaviors another part of discipline involves reproof to correct disobedience Both aspects of discipline can be tough. The trials Job endured were not a punishment for sin, but they were training in righteousness. And Job emerged a better man after those trials. The Bible teaches us that our loving heavenly Father disciplines us. His discipline is not doubtful, but it is assured. As Christ disciples we recognize the need to grow in the grace and the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now this kind of growth requires discipline. Human fathers have a responsibility to train their children and part of that training is to administer discipline. Just as human fathers wisely discipline their children so does our heavenly father do so for each one of us discipline is not the same as condemnation god disciplines his children but he does not bring condemnation so when does god discipline us god disciplines us the moment we become believers the moment we are accepted into his family we immediately begin to learn and understand from god's word and adjust our lives accordingly this is a blessing in our lives and the result of god's discipline is holiness and maturity and much more growing wiser includes discipline from imperfect parents as well now as we undergo god's discipline we can rejoice in many factors that god is treating us as his children god disciplines his children because he loves them god disciplines his children because he wants to make them more mature god disciplines his children to increase their capacity god disciplines his children to keep them on the right path god disciplines his children to help them grow in faith and god disciplines his children to purify us from all sin. The Lord continues to work with us as a potter does the clay. His discipline is for our good and for his glory. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your discipline that you love us, O oh God, and you expect us, Lord, to walk in your godly values, O oh God. I pray that you will enable each one of us no matter which season of life we are in that you will minister to us and help us to walk according to your word and to fulfill every plan and purpose you have for our lives in Jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.